King 19 here, and in today's video, we are doing a Animal Jam Conspiracy Theory, uh, again, because I have nothing else to do on my spare time. Anyways, so in today's video, we are doing the Conspiracy Theory on the Phantom Plushie. Now, most of you probably um think it's just a normal plushie, but it's not. The phantom that used to be in here is gone, and that escaped phantom plushie has the goo on it, which is the same goo that is from the cage, which means the bar scrap put holes in the phantom, which means the goo is the blood of a phantom. So that makes sense, correct? Yes. Okay, it better. Ahem. <clears throat> now you guys are thinking, oh, it's just a phantom. Yeah. Hmm. Fun. Um. No. You don't get it, do you? So this little phantom, you know, this phantom is more, cause more damage that you think than just escape to the phantom portal. What happened is that phantom ran in to Serapia Forest. Mm-hmm. Now, how I know this is because I will show you. Give me five seconds. Here we go. This phantom ran from Coral Canyons out from the explorer's tent into Serapia Forest and Saucer Gilbert clearly scratched it out with his blood slash goo. Oh yes, and how, and you're also probably wondering, uh, why did the phantom escape of all times it could have escaped before, why now? Well, clearly it knew the portal was opening, so it knew it, it knew that that was its chance. So, now continuing. It ran, scratched out the Sir Gilbert poster, Ran all the way into Jama. Now, how I know it ran into Jama is because of this. You'll see what I'm saying in just a second. It ran into Jama. This goo is the same goo that was on the cage and on the Sir Gilbert poster. It must have, like, leaned or flew by this fountain. It must have went, it went into the Alpha Headquarters. You're probably thinking, why would a stupid little spiky phantom like that go into the Alpha Headquarters? Well, I'll show you, hundred people that like me. Not really, because I bet barely, like, 20 of you actually watch me. Anyway. It ran in here when no one was in here, came in, and took Sir Gilbert's book. Yep, it took Sir, or that, not Sir Gilbert, Greeley's book. And how it, Greeley's book Greeley's book was right here. It had all the information on the alphas, on the phantoms. And clearly the phantom knew that they could use it. He would use it for the phantom portal and how to close it or solve the mystery. And the goo clearly, and the goo is clear that it, well, it was here. So next, on to the next part. And yes, there is more. So as it ran to the Lost Temple of Zios to, well, you know, get to the portal, he clearly the Phantom would have, wouldn't have brought the book back in to the Phantom portal. He would have stat he would have threw it away. So he did. He stored it somewhere where the Alphas probably would last look. And with that being said. It's somewhere in here. I'm thinking either one of these books are the alphas or it's in this chest. Right here is the phantom goo. It knocked over all these things. And plus, there's this potion bottle with the cork out of it. Clearly, the phantom just did that to catch you off guard. Or, he actually hid it in that chest while breaking the ladder. Or, it's in this little thing. Or the coming soon shop, you know, which, whichever one. So then, as it did that, it ran back out of Lost Temple of the Chamber of Knowledge, went back into the Lost Temple of Zios, and clearly ran into the portal where it was free. And that's where it went to the shop, 
and became a plushie. How I know I went through the portal is because there's goo right there. You can see it right, right, right there. <laughs> if I can only look. Right there. Yeah, that's the goo. It shows... It shows that that is where the phantom went. Now, clearly you all must have questions, as most of you would ask. Why would, why would the phantom steal the book, Greedy's book? Why did the phantom go to all the trouble when he could have just took the book back to the, the phantom dimension? Which I have a exclamation for. So with that being said, we'll go to my den to discuss this. Now, I am not, I did not come up with this myself. Some of it, yes. Where the phantom all went, I did come up with, but I did not find all of the clues. Sarah Elsden and I stayed up till 2 a.m., don't judge, trying to find out what happened. We came to a conclusion that that's what happened. And with that being said, that's what I think happened. Now, you're probably about to ask a question, uh, what about the questions? That you just said. But, but are you going to answer him? Yes, I am. So the reason the Phantom didn't bring back the book to the Phantom Portal was because if with all the jammers getting in there and final and Peck finally figuring out the code, which everyone already knew. <coughs> anyway. Ahem. <coughs> which the with all the jammers going back into the portal, they he probably would have just disposed of it in the Phantom Dimension. Well, with all the Jambers coming back, he clearly knew... Sorry. Yeah. He clearly knew that Jammers were coming in, that were gonna figure out the code. He knew this because he's seen Jammers figure out all the stuff for being trapped in that cage for so long. So, not only were we... Greeley collecting information about the phantoms. The phantom was collecting information about us. So the phantom knew that we would figure out the code. And once he disposed of the book in the phantom dimension, we would have found the book. So he... I don't know if the phantom is he or she, whatever it is. I'm guessing all phantoms are dudes. I don't know why. Besides me, I'm probably like the only girl phantom. You know, just, just move it on. He hid it in the Chamber of Knowledge, no, because that would be the last place, that'd be the last place all the Alphas would look for Greeley's book. The reason why the Phantom stole Greeley's book in the first place, well, is because it's, has all, has a lot of information about the Phantoms over the years. So, what I, why that portal opened, no one knows in that matter. But, he knew yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say. I, I had it all written down, and I just lost my paper. Where, where is it? Um, bleh. Okay, so that's basically all I can remember what I was supposed to say, because I can't find the frickin' paper. Hi, little lion. How's my little fluffy cloud? So, that's my conspiracy theory. If you guys agreed with this conspiracy theory, please let me know. And, uh, if you guys... Ah! Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.